Previously on Bleach. Ichigo royally sucked at his Asuchi training, so Nimaya sent his ass back home to get his shit together. So he ended up naked in his hot boss's house somehow, when he was confronted by his father, Ishin. Ichigo, it's time that you learned about my deep, dark backstory. Oh, I don't know, Dad. Let me think about this for a second. Hot sex with my big busted boss? Or a fat expedition dump from my dad? Hmm. You made the right choice, son. Alright, I hope you get right- No, 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 hold on, Dad. I gotta get, like, a bunch of shit. Hold on, let me get some popcorn and the Mountain Dew. It's like, alright, alright, I'm ready. Let's do this. Backstory time! Alright, well, it all started 20 years ago when I was the captain of Squad 10. This is gonna be awesome! Hey everybody, Techie101 here. Hit a review, Bleach chapter number 532, titled Everything But the Rain, Op 5, The White Noise. Right, so as you all remember from the last chapter, which was totally last week, I what? Um, Ishin started his epic battle with the mysterious hollow that resembles Ichigo's Vasto Lorde form. Uh, he seemed to have the upper hand, but then all of a sudden Aizen had to show up and fuck it all up as usual. He uh, attacked Ishin from behind, slicing his back open, which means that Ishin was taken off guard by the hollow. And now we open up with this chapter explaining exactly how Aizen and uh, Gin and Tozen are able to, you know, attack Ishin and watch the battle without being noticed. Uh, remember those cloaks that uh, Uohara invented back in the turn back the pendulum arc well apparently i guess aizen's the kind of guy that can figure out a trick just by looking at it once because uohara was not the kind of dipshit to be like all right aizen i'm using these riatsu concealing cloaks let me tell you exactly how i made it oh no i just dropped a leaflet on how to make them no, Uohara doesn't monologue again and again. That would be Aizen, though, when he's up in the sky, basically invisible, explaining for no real reason how he was able to make the cloak, even though the only people around him are Gein and Tozen, who very clearly know how to make them as well. Ah, uh, a mantle capable of cloaking the individual's Riatsu. <laughs> Just add a dash of Keto on the top of it, and you can blend seamlessly into your surroundings, rendering you practically invisible. <laughs> Quite the parting gift you left us, Uohara. Kisuke. Yes, Aizen-sama, we, we know that. We spent all last week knitting these things in our secret underground base. We we know how they work. You don't have to explain it. Uh, yes, of course, I know that, Tozen. I just wanted to let everybody know. Oh, and uh, also, little fun fact, Aizen, they make us invisible, not inaudible. So maybe you want to keep it down a little bit so Ishin doesn't hear us? Swagger Jack and Aizen style, bitch! Now, remember, even though Ishin was set up as sort of like a comic relief character at the beginning of the series, he's still a pretty smart guy. He's got a lot of years on him. He made captain of the Gote 13, so he, he understands that, wait a second, I was fighting this hollow, and then all of a sudden, an invisible sword slashed me from behind. I think there's something fishy in the state of Denmark here. It was a Shinigami, no doubt about that. There's someone else pulling the strings around here. Just who the hell are you? Come out, you cowards! And I shouted to the heavens to let them know that I meant business. So, did you ever find out who it was? No, I didn't, unfortunately. But someday, I'll find the bastard and ring him up by a She-Hawk show. You, you, you know it was probably Aizen, right? Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, shit, right! Oh, yeah, it was totally Aizen the whole time. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Yeah, I, I knew that, of course, right. 
Anyway, despite having front row seats to your Captain vs. Weird Hollow Shinigami Abomination fight, Aizen decides that they've seen enough and they're gonna head back now. They don't have to deal with Ishin, uh, since Aizen is very familiar with how Ishin's Bankai operates and that he will be unable to activate it with that injury on his back. At this point, it's when we find out the Hollow's name exactly. Tozen is the one that named it because Tozen is sort of like the poetic member of the group. Remember, you know, when his, uh, when, when Wanderweiss was kind of annoying the hell out of Gein, you know, he's just like, don't bother him, Gein. His words have meaning or some shit like that. So he clearly has a little bit more empathy for the creations than Aizen and Gein do. It's nothing like the Hollows we've managed to create up to this point. Please address him as Whitey. Oh, uh, shit. What's wrong, Aizen Sama? No, Tozen, it's just. It's kind of racist. What do you mean it's racist? I'm simply referring to the whiteness that is inside of him. Yeah, yeah, we get that, we get that, but how would you feel if I started calling you Blackie all of a sudden? Uh, well, I don't think that would make any sense, because the insides of my body are not black, are they, you racist piece of garbage? Hey, no, 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 I'm not the one, I'm just saying hypothetically, Gein, shut up, stop being a racist piece of garbage. Oh, god damn, I'm gonna kill you someday. What was that? Nothing, Aizen Sama, nothing. Anyway, uh, I guess you could just simply refer to him as uh, Shiro. Yes, that's significantly more PC. <laughs> yes, let's go with that. So we get the title page, then we continue on with the epic brawl. However, Ishin does not have the upper hand now because although, you know, at first it looked like, you know, Aizen just, you know, it's just a sword slice, you're not a big deal. But I guess the cut was rather deep or maybe Aizen did something else to it because Ishin is hurting pretty bad right now. The blood is like splurting from his wound every time he counters uh, Shiro and he's simply, uh, you know, he's, he's being pushed back. Uh, he thinks to himself of trying to activate his Bankai, but then he remembers also, yeah, with a wound this severe, uh, I won't be able to control it as well. It looks like my Bankai really isn't an option at this point. Oh man, Dad, that sucks that you couldn't use your Bankai in that fight. So, uh, what is it anyway? Oh, I'm sorry, what? Y your Bankai. I, I mean, you couldn't use it in the story because you're injured, but you can surely tell me right now as we're talking in our kitchen what it is, right? Oh, God damn it, Ichigo. I'm trying to tell a fucking story and you got my train of thought all fucked up now. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad, I'm just wondering. I mean, it's the highest form of Zonpok to release. I'm just curious. But Ichigo, listen. I will tell you what my Bankai is another day. Probably. But for now, let's just get back to the story at hand. <coughs> so I was being pushed back by the horrible hollow abomination created by a mysterious individual. Aizen. Aizen, yeah. And he was knocking me back and biting me down, and he knocked me through a fucking building. He sent me flying through the air, charging up an attack. But as you know, Ishin Shiba doesn't go down without a fight. You think you got this? You think you're better than me, you hollow piece of fuck? And I said that right to his freaking messed up hollow face. Yeah, uh, that was pretty cool there, Dad. What, what are you talking about? I breathe fucking fire, Ichigo! Your dad can breathe fire! Can you think of anybody else that can do that? Uh, I'm pretty sure Deku's dad could do that, but I don't think he's ever been shot. Okay, whatever. Anyway, big explosion, and then that's when the heroine of our story arrives. You mean mom. Uh, y yes, I mean mom, Ichigo. I'm just trying to be a little bit more, you know, eloquent with my... Okay, whatever. Right, so Masaki finally shows up on the scene uh, with Ishin fighting against uh, Shiro. Uh, it kind of looks like also Kubo was maybe going for a panty shot here, but I guess the Shonen Jump editors just pounced on him for that one. Like, no, you can't do that. So, I don't know, Kubo will have to think up something a little bit more perverse in the near future. Um, anyway, she's watching the fight go down, and then she sees part of uh, the uh, Hollow's arm, the, the sword arm it has, just fall next to her. So she realizes, you know, she's she's got to do something badass. So she strikes a stare, and then we cut back over to the fight there. We see Ishin. Um, he managed to take off uh, Shiro's arm with that last attack when he breathed fire, which was interesting. You know, uh, somebody should really make a video about that, talking about Ishin's powers. I mean, he, he grabbed his blood licked it, and then he could breathe a massive fireball. That's... that seems like that would be rather interesting to discuss. Anyway, so despite being left-handed, Shiro still manages to be agile enough to get the jump on Ish and manages to clash with his sword there. Oh shit, I don't know how Ishin's gonna get out of this one, guys. What do you think, law teching? Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe if he tries using keto or something, but, uh... I don't know, can he use that? I mean, I don't, I don't know if he's a keto expert. What do you think, vampire? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> oh, this is getting tough. Uh, I can't use Bonkai, so maybe I'll give Keto a shot. Oh shit! 
boom, just like that. Fires a freaking Quincy arrow right at the thing's head. Almost takes off my head, but whatever. And that's the story of how your teenage mother saved me from almost getting blown. By a hollow. By, by a hollow, yeah, yeah, right. So Ishin looks down at the uh, young Misaki there, looking pretty badass, holding up the, uh, the holy bow, and he realizes pretty quickly, you know, oh, it's that girl that saved my life. Oh, and she's a Quincy. At this moment, Aizen also looks like he gets his rocks off because he gets really excited by a Quincy being there. Uh, Tozen says he wants to go eliminate her, but Aizen's like, no, no, wait, wait, Tozen. I want to see how this all plays out. Yes. Okay, so interestingly enough, Shiro, despite having a clean shot at Ishin, decides to leave immediately and go charging straight for Masaki. However, she can't get a beat on it because it's so fast, and she notices that its dexterity is really good. She can't get a clean shot. Huh, okay then. I guess I'll have to focus all my power. It's okay, Masaki. You'll be okay. Just remember what your dad always taught you when he was teaching you about Quincy shit. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Wait, 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 you're not my dad. Who the hell are you? Oh, um, yeah, about that. See, your dad was actually never revealed in the series. I mean, you might have one, you might not. I don't know, you could be a fucking clone for all I know. But, uh, uh my name's Teching, I'm an internet reviewer, and I will be your voice of reason today. Oh, uh, okay, well, uh, do you have any advice for, uh, taking out this, uh, freaky hollow in front of me? <laughs> I'd say blow the fucker's head off, but uh, that's all I got. Okay, now, this is fucking metal. Get ready for this. Hello, Vasto Lorde shit is charging right toward Masaki. She lets go, lets go of her holy bow. Everyone, like, Aishin's like, ah, oh, and Aizen's like, yes. And it just chomp, chomp, chomps right down in her fucking neck. She grabs that thing's head like a baller, point blank range, and just... You're terminated, fucker. And that Ichigo was the moment that I was the hardest I've ever been in my life for your mom. Oh god, dad. Okay, you didn't have to go into that, you know, explicit detail there. It's fine. You could have left that part out. Oh, really? I was gonna get into great detail about her breasts later on. Do you still want to hear about that? No, I don't! Your mom had some pretty rockin' tits, though. I mean, they were pretty nice. Yes, Dad, I know. She smothered me with them. After she fell on top of me. After she was murdered and gutted by a fucking anglerfish demon! Oh, you're right, yeah. They were triple Ds, you know. God damn it! Right, so that's the end of Bleach Chapter 532. I have no idea what'll happen next chapter. Uh, you know, if Masaki's gonna be okay after the Hollow just, like, chomped down on her. Maybe she used Blute Vein, you know? Maybe, you know what? Maybe, just maybe Masaki is like a Quincy that's supremely gifted with Blute Fane, so that's how she was able to protect herself. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, you know, she gets infected, though, by the Hollow's power, which almost turns her into a Hollow, which means that she has to be saved by, um, by, uh, Ishin and, Ry and Ryukin. They're gonna team up, and that's how they become friends. And then Uohara gets in on the fray, too. And then they do this whole thing where they have to fix her, but she has to be bound to Ishin's soul. And then that's how Ishin became a human, and then, uh, that's why Ryukin kind of hates him, because he couldn't help, uh, Misaki, and then that's how they started dating, and then that's how Ichigo was born and everything like that, and, um, and then let's say Yuha has a power where he can absorb other Quincy's power to revive his own power, and that's, and he used this power right before Misaki was about to get killed by Grand Fisher, and that's how she got killed, and that's also how he was able to kill, uh, Uryu's mother, who was also revealed to be Katagiri. Now, that's a pretty bold theory I have, but I stand by that 110%. I also stand by the fact that at some point in this series, we're going to find out about Ishin's Bonkai. Kubo was just teasing us this time around, but we'll be getting to that shit eventually. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, everybody. This will be Teching 101, signing out.
All right, hey everybody, Teching here. Uh, once again, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't noticed, obviously, I'm going back and uh, going to cover some Bleach chapters that I didn't do because I really like to have a full library of reviews for the final arc. The final arc was 206 chapters, I believe, and uh, I think there was about three or four of those that I didn't do uh, at the time of their release for various reasons. Uh, chapter 532 that we covered today, I actually had ammonia really bad when this chapter was released. I remember that, and uh, I was sick as a dog and I couldn't film it. Uh, and I've thought about filming it a few times since since then. Uh, and there was also chapter 608, which I didn't do when it was released, and I did it eventually the following year. So hopefully I'll go back. I think the remaining ones I have, I think there was, uh, they're, they're really early on in the arc, like chapter 491 and 493. I think there was one in the 80s, too, that I didn't do. So uh, look forward to that. And also, uh, comment below on some other chapters, like the Bleach All-Stars that you might want me to review or something like that. Like chapters in the series that are, like, really prevalent, like the chapter where Ichigo defeats Ukiyora, or the chapter where, you know, you, you get to see fucking like like uh, Ichigo taking on Aizen or something like that or you know something that's like really popular it's like Ichigo versus Byakuya you know some really like famous points in the story that you would like to get the reviewing treatment from me and I'll maybe put those on the sketch so uh, thanks for watching everybody this will be Tekking signing out later